Hey YouTube, welcome back to a brand new Animal Crossing New Horizons video. Today we're going over the basics of friendship in New Horizons and taking a brief look at some of the things you should know, especially if you're trying to get a villager's picture. So without further ado, let's get straight into today's video. So friendship levels in Animal Crossing are behind the scenes mechanic that determines how friendly a particular villager is towards the player. The measurement of friendship is something that has kind of always been there since the original, but is now more commonly referenced as the method for unlocking villager pictures. The friendship feature in New Horizons is more complex than any previous Animal Crossing game now, but thanks to the latest data mine and their hard work, we're able to understand a bit more about how friendships work. I'll leave links to the original data mine below so you can check it out. Anyway, there's lots to get through, but we'll break it down into the most significant areas. Number one, what is friendship? So as you know, villagers in Animal Crossing treat you differently depending on how much you interact with them. This is something you've probably noticed already if you're playing New Horizons. This mechanic is based on a tier system spanning six levels, which we'll get into later. The key thing about friendship is you can increase a villager's friendship level by being nice and helpful towards them, or decrease a friendship level by doing the opposite. Depending on how you play the game, a villager's friendship level can be important because it offers different interactions based on their current level. One of the ultimate goals is to increase your villager's friendship level to the point they'll reward you with their villager picture. Number two, tears. Now, villager friendship is based on a tier system spanning six levels and three friendship types. The levels themselves are based on friendship points that range between 0 and 255. Level 1 is 0 to 29 points. Level 2 is 30 to 59 points. Level 3 is 60 to 99 points. Level 4 is 100 to 149 points. Level 5 is 150 to 199 points. And level 6 is 200 to 255 points. Now, we are said to be simply friends with a villager if they're currently on level 1 or 2. We get an upgrade to good friends if they're sitting at level 3 or 4, and finally we're considered best friends if the villager is level 5 or 6. It's very similar to New Leaf's friendship if you're familiar with that mechanic. Of course, each of these levels unlocks something new and causes a particular villager to interact with the players differently, determining how they speak and what they offer you. The good news is a villager automatically starts with 25 friendship points when they move to the island, so it's nice to know you're already friends with an animal once they're out and about. Anyway, the interactions based on levels are as follows. Level 1 villagers can give you gifts. Level 2 villagers will accept daily gifts from the player. Level 3 villagers can sell you items and give you a nickname. Level 4 villagers will allow you to change their catchphrase, which is always a fun one. Level 5 villagers will allow you to change their greeting, but more importantly offer you a way of obtaining their villager picture, and level 6 villagers will offer to buy or trade high value items from your inventories. So that's basically the friendship tiers. Number 3. Increasing friendships. Of course the ultimate goal is to increase your villager's friendship to get as many interactions as possible and unlock ways of obtaining rewards, and there's many ways to do this. If you talk with your villager once per day, you will increase their friendship points by one, which I think we probably all do automatically anyway, just on our daily rounds. If a villager prompts to buy an item from you, their friendship will increase by one again, if you go through with it. Next, if you see a villager with fleas, be sure to catch them as this yields a bonus of 5 friendship points for that villager. Moving on, giving your villagers their daily gifts also increases their friendship level, but the daily gifts feature is a whole separate mechanic with a few other factors that affect how many points are earned. In short, if you gift your villagers flowers, critters or tools, their friendship will increase again by 2 points. You can give them their preferred clothing or music, but this means knowing what they like. Giving a villager furniture as their daily gift will increase their friendship by three, so it's always best, if you can, to hand over some unwanted furniture items. Now, if you want to be super generous and splash out on some gift wrapping paper from Nook's Cranny, you can earn a bonus point if you wrap the gift first. So, for example, a wrapped furniture item would then increase their friendship by four. Number four, decreasing friendship. 
Of course, it's just as easy to decrease your hard-earned friendship with a villager if you wanted to, although there's really no reason to unlike in previous Animal Crossing games because even best friends or high-level villagers can prompt to move out in New Horizons, which as previously was the primary reason for annoying your villagers. Anyway, if you hand over trash items such as books, cans or tyres as a daily gift, you will decrease their friendship level by 2 points. Furthermore, if you push them around or continue hitting them with your net to the point they get upset or angry, their villager friendship will decrease by 3 points. These are really the only ways to purposely reduce their friendship level. However, there are a couple of things that you may be doing that won't increase or decrease a villager's friendship. Currently, if you send them a letter from the postcard stand in Dodo Airlines, their friendship level remains unaffected. Similarly, if you talk to them too much to the point they walk off, or the exact opposite and you totally ignore them, their friendship level is also unaffected. It's been suggested in the data mine that these are likely bugs and not the intended results, so I imagine they may be adjusted in a future update. After all, it makes sense that if you spend time writing a nice letter, it should affect their friendship in a positive way, assuming you weren't cruel to them. Number 5. Bonus Points Now, going back to the daily gifts, there's a lot of scope for earning bonus points as well as extra rewards from the villagers. If your villager is level 2 or above, you can give them a gift each day as mentioned in the previous section, but depending on the value of the gift you give, you will earn different rewards and points. If the gift you give the villager sells for less than 250 bells, the villager will be satisfied, but you'll get nothing in return. Furthermore, if the gift you give sells for less than 2,500 bells, the villager will give you either bells or a piece of furniture in return. This is chosen randomly. However, if you're feeling rich and the item would sell for more than 2,500 bells, the villager will return the favour by rewarding you with another item. So again, if you're feeling wealthy, it's in your best interest to give the villager an expensive gift-wrapped furniture item each day to earn at least 4 friendship points as well as a guaranteed reward in return, which you can either keep or sell or even gift to another villager. Furthermore, your friendship type with a particular villager can also earn you bonus points. If you're friends with the villager when you gift them a gift, their level will increase by one extra point, on top of what they would have already increased by. If you're good friends with them, so they're level 3 or 4, their level will increase by an extra 2 points. And if you're already best friends with them, so level 5 or 6, their level will increase by an extra 3 points. So there's a lot of scope here to rapidly increase your villager's friendship level each day, which again is great if your goal is to get them to level 5 and try to get your hands on their villager picture. Number 6. Birthdays Birthdays are a great way to increase a friendship level, but the amount of points you can increase their friendship level by is determined by another different mechanic. As you probably know, villagers are very forward in New Horizons and expect to receive gifts on their birthdays. And thanks to the data mine, we know there are three tiers that gifts fall under. Items including honeycombs, mushrooms, shells, fossils and critters that sell for 500 bells or normal items that sell for up to 125 bells are classed as tier 1. If the above items sell for under 1,999 bells or normal items that sell up to 499 bells are classed as tier 2. And finally, if the above items sell for more than 2,000 bells, including cake, turnips and fruits, or normal items that sell for more than 500 bells, are classed as Tier 3. So, if on a villager's birthday you give them a Tier 1 present, their friendship level will increase by 3 points, or 4 points if it's gift wrapped. A Tier 2 present will increase their friendship by 4 points, or 6 points if it's gift wrapped. And finally, Tier 3 presents will increase their friendship level by 5 points, or 8 points if gift wrapped. Of course, any trash items such as boots, cans, tyres, weeds and spoiled turnips will decrease their friendship level. So if you happen to stumble into a birthday party, the easiest gift you can give is some wrapped stacked fruit, which will award 8 points. But don't worry if you miss a villager's birthday, there are still plenty of ways to increase their friendship level. Number 7. Side Quests So there are some side quests or mini games that villagers can ask you to do, as well as some tasks you can choose to complete. These include catching critters on behalf of a villager, taking part in a treasure hunt they've set up, returning a lost item, or providing them with some medicine when they're sick. These side quests reward friendship points based on your friendship type, as well as your performance on completing the tasks. 
For catching critters, your performance for completing the task is categorized as good if they request a specific critter, otherwise it's classed as normal. However, if the villager's request wasn't specific, but its selling value is above 2000 bells, it's still classed as good. For treasure hunts, your performance will be good if it's a short treasure hunt, otherwise your performance will be normal. Unfortunately, if you don't complete the hunt before speaking with them again, they'll actually lose a point. For lost items, your performance is only good if you return the lost item to the correct villager without showing any other animals. The cool thing about lost items is you'll get two bonus friendship points if you do this without them even asking you to. But of course you have a 1 in 10 chance of this happening. And finally for sickness your performance will be good if you give them medicine after another villager has told you about them being sick. And unfortunately you'll lose a friendship point if you go to give the villager medicine but you don't have any so be careful with that one. So if you've completed tasks but only achieved a normal performance, they'll gain one friendship point if you're friends. If you're good friends, they'll gain either one or two points, but this is chosen randomly. And if you're best friends, they'll gain two points. However, if you've done all the right things and you've gained a good performance during the tasks, you'll get an extra point for each friendship type. Being friends will increase their friendship level by two points, good friends by two or three, but chosen randomly, and best friends will increase their friendship level by three points. So there's quite a lot to take in, but the key thing to remember is if you agree to a task, just complete it if you're trying to increase their friendship level. Number eight, photos. Now, as mentioned at the beginning of this video, most people's goals or reason for increasing a villager's friendship level is to reach level five or higher in hopes of obtaining the villager's picture. These are not to be confused with the posters that you can get by scanning Amiibo. The pictures or photos are just like in previous games and are cute little framed furniture items. Of course, this line of furniture is a nightmare for completionists, but it is possible to get your hands on them. All you have to do is raise the villagers in question's friendship to level five, so you're best friends with them and hope you receive the picture as a reward for either completing a side quest or as a reward for giving a daily gift. Unfortunately, there's only ever less than 10% chance of receiving the picture. You can calculate the exact chances of receiving the picture by dividing their friendship level by 25, but it's pretty difficult to know their exact number. It's easiest to max out your villager's friendship to level 6 with 255 points, which returns a 10% chance. Of course, the easiest way to increase your friendship level is to always gift your villager an expensive, gift-wrapped furniture item, complete their requests and side quests, until they ask you to change their catchphrase. That way you'll know they're at least level five or higher. Just remember, it doesn't matter if you ignore them or don't play for a while, as currently the friendship levels are unaffected by not speaking with them. So it's not too much of a grind in that respect. Just don't give them any trash by accident. So there we have it. That's a brief rundown of the friendship mechanic in New Horizons and a rough overview of how to increase a particular villager's friendship level in hopes of obtaining their villager picture. Again, I'd like to thank the data miners for all their hard work for publishing their findings to the community. It's really awesome to get a better understanding of these mechanics, so thank you. The link to the results is in the description. I highly recommend you check it out for a more in-depth review. Anyway, what do you think about the friendship feature? Is this something you're actively pursuing or do you just go about your island life? Let us know in the comments. Anyway, for now, that pretty much wraps up this video. If you're an Animal Crossing fan, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on any New Horizons news. Until then, I'd like to give a special thank you to this channel's Patreon supporters, as well as some new channel members. You guys absolutely rock and your support is second to none. Of course, don't forget to head over to our Discord server too. And if you got this far in the video, please comment friendship. Just to let me know you did, that would be super awesome. And please be sure to include who your best friends are or who you want them to be on your New Horizons island. I'd love to know. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video and found it entertaining. Please be sure to leave a like if you did. Thanks for watching. I hope you have an amazing day. Stay safe and I'll see you in my next video. Peace.